All right, let's dive in with the Firebase setup, right? So what we're gonna have to do is, is create a Firebase account uh, and uh, do a little bit of work on the back end, but, but very little, actually. We'll just kind of explore and see what's going on. All right, so the first thing is is that in Firebase, um, you do have to, to create an account or at least sign in. Um, so if you go to, uh, so let's see, we got, um, go on here, Firebase, uh, Dot google .com, all right, and I, I see that, that I'm here. If you just Google for Firebase, it'll also bring you to the same place. Um, and you're gonna see that there's a place to sign in and a place to go to the console. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm gonna go right to the con console because I am already signed in here. Um, and you'll see it, it brings you to a place where you have your projects. Um, so go ahead and get signed in if, if you're not already. Uh, just use as regular Google sign in. Um, Anyway, and I have some, some various things here, um, but what I wanna do is, is uh, just kind of walk you through what we're doing in the beginning. So the first thing is I'm gonna create a new project. And what I'm gonna suggest you do um, for the name uh, is use your name and then this, this, uh, this app, as you saw when you ran it here, just you know, has your favorite color, your favorite number. Um, so this is just the favorite things app. So we'll, we'll call it you know, um, your username and then favorite things. Uh, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna make a URL for you. Um, that's just the same thing, only just lower, uh, lower case and uh, sort of, I guess, spinal case actually. Um, and I can see that. Uh, so I have the uh, favorite things here. If I look at project settings, um, we'll see that the project ID is the same thing, okay? Um, so it's, it's gonna actually use this um, later. If you wanna change the, the public facing name, you can, you can edit this uh, whenever, whenever you like, okay? All right, um, so I'm going back here. Uh, the actual setup, um, uh, if I wanna add it to my to my app, it's just I'm gonna follow this guy right here. And it needs a couple of things. So first of all, it needs your package name. And really that's all it needs uh, until you start to get into more advanced authentication. Um, so edu.rosehallman. And then we call this uh, favorite things. All right, and that should match what we have uh, in our in our app, right? So um, here it is right here. Um, I can see that right there. You do those home and favorite things. All right, looks great. Um, not gonna worry about the SHA-1 certificate for now, although it's an easy thing to do. We'll worry about that when we, um, when we go later, okay? So we click add app and what this is gonna do uh, you see that it that it basically gives you um, it it's, prompts you to download this Google services.json um, and yours probably won't have the one in it. That's because I already have one in here. Um, what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put it inside my app level uh, and they show you one way to do it. I'm just gonna do mine within, um, within this here. So um, I'm gonna go to starting code, let's see, so private, uh, favorite things, and I go into my app. And so I'm at this, at this level, I'll, again, I'll just back off here. So. Um, you'll see you have your grade fly on everything. So inside app where you see build, libs, and source, that's where you want to stick it and it needs to be there for it to find it. So this is this Google services.json file. And I'm going to download it there. Um, I can take a, a, a quick, uh, quick peek at it. Um, if I want to see what's, what's in it, um, I can see that it has, you know, it has things like an actual Firebase URL, has my project ID, as a place if I were going to use Google Storage, um, where that is, and then it has some other stuff in here um, for OAuth and so on. And I am not worried about most of what's here, um, but just note that it's it is going to know where um, you know where where my project is, right? So that's an important thing. All right, very good. So um, so we stuck it there. Um, and again, you could have done it this way. The, the way that they say it is go ahead and go to the project view and then inside the app and you see it's it's a sibling of, you know, build libs and source, right? Just like we did. All right, great. So we're gonna continue. Um, we need to make a couple changes to our Gradle file. Um, so the first thing is, is that this goes in the project level Gradle file. So I'm gonna copy that guy and go back to my project. And that is um, this one that you probably haven't messed around with too much in the course. Uh, so this is the, the project level. And inside here, you're gonna add this other class path for a Google Play services. Uh, I'm not gonna bother syncing yet because I have some more changes to make. Um, and then down here inside our dependencies, um, we're gonna have a couple more things. Um, so they say, first of all, at the bottom of the file, 
So you want to apply that plugin for the other one. So I'm actually going to go after the dependencies and stick that there. And then the dependency itself, um, it looks like they're not giving, giving us right now, um, but it depends on, um, and it says right here, it, it gives Firebase analytics, um, but we want some other stuff. We want the real-time database. So we'll come back to this in a second. So we're going to click Finish. Uh, and let's see, if I want the, the version number, it's not a big deal. It's, it's in the slides. So you copy it out of there. But if you want to know where to find it in the future, um, this links right into the SDK uh, setup instructions. And they keep this up to date here. So I'm going to scroll down. And then um, they give us this guy right here. So Firebase Core. It looks like the latest is 921. Um, so I know that, that I can use that no problem on my phone. Uh, it depends on which version of Google Play services you're using on your phone or on your emulator. Um, so uh, let's say, like I say, that's going to work on my phone. If you're using an emulator, you might want to use a little bit older version. Uh, so the latest emulator that I found uh, that I was using uh, was version like 9.0 point something. So the 9.02 version of Firebase, it turns out is, is better um, for the emulator. All right, but what we're going to do, so we need the real-time database here. So I'm going to grab this uh, dependency line. And I'm going to go back into here. And I'm going to say compile and paste that in. And like I say, uh, I'm going to put a little, little bit older. Uh, again, if, if you look, uh, if you're using a phone and you go under settings, apps, Google Play services, uh, you can find out what version you're using. And then, you know, if, if it's 9.2 point something, you can use this high, you know, you can use the latest there. All right. I'm not worried about it though. And I'm going to go ahead and resync this uh, so that it's going to know about Firebase. All right, so that's that's a little bit a little bit of setup there. Um, so I'm getting the slides caught up uh, with what we have. So we entered our apps package. Um, we did the SHA-1 fingerprint. Um, actually, we skipped that for now. We did we don't need it until off. Uh, we downloaded the Google Services.json, and then we um, we added the the uh, dependency. And like I said, this is this is what I'd suggest for if you're using an emulator. All right. All right, uh, let's let's go back, um, and I'm I'm gonna go into uh, let's see, oops, let's go back to to our console, All right? And we can see that it has it here along with some basic analytics that we're not worried about. We're certainly not selling our apps yet, so we're not worried about it yet. Um, and the places where you're gonna care, uh, you're gonna spend most of your time, at least in this unit, on the database tab. And if you click on database, it's gonna give you two things. It's gonna give you data and rules. All right. So first thing is, is that in ours, we're going to have, uh, we can set this up um, here on the back end. We can set it up and uh, just push things from the client. Um, and it's not going to matter, but but just for kicks, just so you can play around with this. If I hit the plus here, um, and I'm going to have a favorite color. My favorite color is, is fuchsia. I don't know. Let's see. Um, i go ahead and add that, right? Maybe I have a favorite number. So I'm going to click it on here and say number. And my favorite number is definitely 17 and click OK. Uh, and uh, you know, if it, it adds these things, right? You can delete things um, and, you, and you see it, you know, it'll, it'll warn you, boom, and it goes red on you to let you know that it's deleting it um, easy enough to add back since this is just uh, my, my, own, my own data. All right, uh, very good. I also have rules, right? So I'm going to go ahead into the rules here. The default rules say that you have to be authenticated. And that's a little bit more work than we need to do right now. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is change this and just say, um, so read true and write true, All right? Like that. Um, and it's just because when we get go going, um, we really don't want to worry about authentication quite yet. It's going to be an easy thing to add, but just one more level of complexity and we'll handle that in the next unit. Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, publish that guy there okay? to save it. Uh, and then back to my data. So here it is. Uh, looks good. And let's get back to our slides and see where we're at. Uh, so as far as preparing the the, um, the back end, we basically did this. You know, we just just uh, added some some very basic um, data right here. Um, not a huge deal. Uh, we changed our rules. All right, like we said, uh, we changed them to to um, to true each. Um, and that's about it. That's about really all that we have for um for back end setup. Right. Uh, so next time we'll come back and learn how to communicate back and forth with Firebase. All right, see ya.